Hey, hey there, folks. Sacred Starcraft bringing you another game from the Team Story Cup. This time we have got Lenium Deshi down here in the bottom right from France. I wasn't aware of that. Just been tearing it up lately. Kind of excited to see this versus the Dominator himself. Quantikion. I cast so many of his games, I'm going to have to come up with a good nickname for this guy. He just kills face. I'll speed it up here a bit at the beginning. Quantikion. Dominator just sounds a little too generic. It's like the... What did I say? Daishi's at the top left. I am high on drugs. I am completely high on drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Getting high is not worth it. Get high on life. Love yourself and all that stupid shit. Can't spend going that fast for too long, otherwise my computer blows up. Daishi will be going down here for a faster-ish expansion. We had the hatch before the pool, and we actually have a gas coming out here pretty quick on this side. There was looking like some sort of scout from Hyun, and there's now a scout falling from Daishi. Yeah, fuck those rocks. Speed it up again, cause this game's gonna take a little while. Anyways, nickname for Hyun. I'm trying to think of what else. At Attila the Hyun. I don't know if anybody else follows much history though, so that might not work out as well. And what other stuff is kind of like rhymes or starts with the kind of sounding of Hyun? All for fun Hyun. All for one Hyun. Hyun for all and all for Hyun. Good, the bad, and the Hyun. The Hyun and the Restless? That would be pretty funny. The only reason that came to mind is I uh, was at a family member's house and the Young and the Restless was going. I don't know if any of you kids out there remember Young and the Restless. Good old fashioned Y and R. When your mom would be at home because she was a housewife of some sort and watched her soaps. Hyun and the Restless. That is definitely going to be it. Fast third base here out of Hyun and the Restless. Got pretty good vision of what's going on. I see most people, if they're going to position things for scouting, it's generally on the south side of the map. The north seems to be ignored a lot of the times. It will be a bio play on this side, and we have Hellions on the way. Good amount of workers still crushing those out. Looks like he's just sending groups of two of attackers just to be able to deal with any type of zerglings that are chilling out, chilling around. Be interesting if he managed to actually grab these overlords. There's two overlords here. The interesting thing is that the uh, Hellions will be able to actually deal with a lot of this. Actually, really fun play. Should be going after this guy, though. Pretty interesting play out of Daishi. Casted a few of his games. Seems to play really, really good style. Really good, consistent. Solid play. Run away, you got roaches attacking you. Oh, you got smoked. And then run over. It's kind of funny. The Roach Pressure, very standard now out of Zerg players, particularly when they see the Hellions out. We don't have any Widow Mines in play, but we have enough Marines here that I think he should be alright. Yep, drove that back pretty easy. Started to get some creep spread, got the Baneling Nest, got some Zerglings and more Roaches on the way. Luckily, because he smells an attack coming. Just picking off those overlords really, really effectively. Very smart. Killing off the rocks nice and early. Yu-Gi-Oh! could probably learn something from that. If you guys haven't watched the series with Yu-Gi-Oh! versus Finale. Quite an interesting one. Got some drops on the way. This watchtower is still taken. By the Zerg player. Yeah, he did see. He just looked over very quickly and saw the drop coming. So he should be just fine. Looks like there's a little bit of a push from the Hellions at the front. Just going to clear out some creep. Using the drop as a little bit more of a decoy, I think. I'm sure he recognizes that a caliber of player as Hyun wouldn't run into so many problems with a simple drop. Good 
going to try his luck slightly just to see if he can get a good position on all of his workers. This could be pretty interesting, actually. If he leaves the... No, he doesn't leave the army there. What he can do is use the high ground vision. And he's not going to do that, though. If he does leave a marine down here, he'd be able to den deny that fourth base for a while. Getting out some marauders into the mixture. Now moving into the widow mines. Upgrades moving along. Do we have the Evo Chambers even out for our buddy Hyun and the Restless? No, we don't. Another Zerg player that seems to like delaying his upgrades quite a bit and going more for just mass amounts. And that seems to work out quite well. Whoopsies. Stimpak finished yet? I don't think it is. It is finished. Man, what do I know? Zerglings coming back, but they're not going to deal super well against it. 1-1 one, one isn't finished, but still with Stimpak, he should be able to handle this quite well. Looks like it's going to be a bit of a base tradey. Well, not even a base tradey. The Widow Mines are going to get off some great hits here, though, just because of how clumped up all the units are. Most of the Banelings have gone down. Big hits from the Widow Mines. Lots of Roaches in here. Should do quite well. He's going to have to pull the workers off to deal. Oh, these Banelings could do just tons of damage to the workers. They'll do quite a bit. But we did have a cancellation of this base down here. Or a killing of that base. Quite even. That actually didn't do too much economic damage to the Terran player. And that cost a lot of resources into that. Units lost. So much higher for Hyun on this. I think he tried to use the last little bit of those Marines. Did really, really good at killing off a lot of workers and that hatchery. Helped him out a ton. Looks like we got a little bit of a gap now. Speed it up again slightly. Oh. Okay, I thought he was just going to go for another giant, huge bugger of an attack. Looks like he's just kind of content to keep an eye on the map. This base is just on its way over. Burrow is not finished yet. I'm surprised the Terran has not knocked down that rock. Uh, he's going to run out of time too, I believe, as well. It would be pretty sick if he knocked that down just in time to kill this army. This is going to get a bunch of Banelings again. Uh, I, I don't know if anybody else has seen like units get sandwiched. It's so fun. Uses the roaches because they can outrange most things. They'll be on the other side. Fourth base being retaken again. Terran player does now happily have up his third. So he should be in a good spot. A little bit of a supply block there. But it shouldn't hurt him too bad. Roach is still at 0-0. Zero, zero. The Terran has 1-1 one, one finished and 2-2 two, two on the way. 1-1 one, one has just started for the Zerg player. Well, plus one melee attack is about to finish. But I'm not too sure exactly what the late game strategy here is yet out of our Zerg player. No hive tech. There's the Spire. I'm like, there's got to be some sort of tech choice here at some point. Spire is on the way. Terran player will not know about that for a while. Slow down his drops quite considerably while he's gotten up his third base. Looks like he's got enough of an army now. He's got a slight supply lead. Looks like he's got enough of an army to push out. Lots of banelings being morphed, but the creep spread is not that far out. Should be able to swing to the south if he wants to. Do a pretty good job. Banelings are now off creep. Oh, he should have saw that. He's gonna. He needs to scan. Yeah. I thought for sure that he had saw those banelings burrow. Look, here we go. Nope. Uh, he actually didn't hit very much with that. I don't know if Daishi saw that explosion, though. Lost a lot of units to the north. He's going to scan, take a creep. Super important. Something that I've got to really orient into my Zerg uh, against Zerg play a little bit more. No tanks. Now he's starting to get tanks in there. We're starting to see a lot of the current Ter Terran metagame. Is the mixture in of tanks into the army? 
they just work so well against these kind of bane lane clumps as they come in. See, so many banelings died on that tank. Super not cost effective there out of Hyun. Did pick up, I think, his army over here. Heading into the main. Speedlings obviously work pretty quickly to deal with that. He actually doesn't lose any of those units. Trying to be as much of a jerk as possible. This drop will get cleaned up though. Still holding a bit of a central position even though he's quite a bit further down in supply. Maybe he's just got some bad rallies going on. He must. This is uh... Can't really afford to just lose these armies for nothing here. Now he's got a pretty good amount of army coming out on this side. It is a lot of Zerglings. Cool mixture of the Zerglings with the Roaches. Does have the bunkers to fall back on though. Keeping him in this a bit longer. Looks like he might want to try to bust this third base. Ooh, good mine hit there. He's got to be careful about that. Mines obviously don't do as well against the roaches. He'd probably rather have those be saved for the widow mines. Sorry, the uh, the banelings here. Looks like Hyun wants to stay aggressive. He does have out a spire, but I don't think he's made any mutas yet. Still preferring to stay just on the ground army. But you can see his upgrades are quite a bit behind the Terran player. He's already got 3 3 at the same position as the 2 2. That's just a burrowed zergling to get a little bit of vision. He's got one more over here. Not what are these guys doing? Having a smoke? Drop over here will cancel off the fifth base. It's important that the Terran player uses his mobility to try to stay inside of this game. Static defense is finally down for the Zerg player. I think they're just super important in dealing with these drops. Otherwise, you can lose so much needlessly to these drops if you're not careful. Supplies are back up and even again. The Zerg player and the turn have fairly equal banks. Looks like these guys finally got off smoke break and killed that Zergling that was hovering over there. Handful of workers moving over. Lots and lots of medevacs. I think this is something I've got to try incorporating into my Terran play. It's just the giant medevac swarm. Your units just last so long underneath the cloud. Lots and lots of band links. Looks like he might want to try to crash this base. It looks as though the Terran player will see this thing completely. There's only one Marine in that medevac, but he gets an awesome scout on this. Units wise, 44 banelings. Yeah, looks like this is the direction to go. Does kill off all the Zerglings before the Widow Mine triggers. More burrowed banelings in the front. Oh boy. Good hit. Hyun is crushing through this, but if you look at his army count, it's actually pretty small. Every time the Zerg player stops, the tr oh, what happened to the Burrow Banlings there? There they are! Yes, that was huge. Now this base is in some apparel. Oh, he did snipe that in time. He does have plus two. For defense. Good mine hit there. These roaches are in pretty rough shape. They do have burrow, so I'd probably encourage them to go home, sleep on it, and think about what they've done. I still don't know if Daishi recognizes the burrow banelings yet. No air defenses at all. There are some mutalisks on the way. Not a lot, just a handful. Daishi is pretty quickly getting back up to the same supply. This base is just finished and hasn't paid for itself yet. Pretty good chunk of an army here. Lots of medevacs. That's taking up a lot of his supply. He is scanning ahead of his army now just to make sure he doesn't hit into more any more burrow banelings.
Triggers one Widow Mine. Gets the creep down here in the south. Good Congo line of units coming in. Another big pile of banelings. Looks like these mutas are going to be at home for defense. Does knock down the rocks. That's only really going to delay Daishi slightly. Max is out really fast behind that as well. Looks like there's a flank inbound. But hyun has got to be really smart about how he sends his units in. He's moving his marauders and his marines. It's more effective when you see all these banelings coming in. To try to move them separately so that the banelings move and hit the marauders. And the marines survive. Looks like the reinforcements from Daishi are just in time. Should come down, get some of these workers, get the widow mines planted. There they go. Lots of worker kills total for the game so far. 31. No run buys or anything from the Zerg player. Probably would have been able to get a little bit of damage in with a handful of lings. Pretty sure this is going to get cleaned up by Hyun. That's a pretty good sized army. It looks like the Widow Mines have not recovered yet. He is going to try to cancel out the Medivacs. But there's a lot there, and the Marines are going to be in time to save them. Going to come back home and regroup. Didn't kill the space, but he did kill off a lot of the workers there. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for another drop yet to the north. He may have to consider getting his own. There it is. Next base. Pull the command center from the main, even with some gas still there. Lots of gas there, actually. He's not really starving for gas right now, though. He has 1,600 in the bank. Those are the weirdest looking things, honestly. Pretty big counterattack on the way from the Zerg player. Looks like he's built up a good chunk of army, but still down almost 50 in supply. Should be able to cancel this base. Problem is for Hyun is that this is most of his army. If he does happen to lose this or get it cornered and trades in effectively, he's actually going to be in a really bad spot. He didn't probably have to send his whole army over here to deal with this. Actually scanned and took out all the Bane links. That trick doesn't work all the time, apparently. That one Baneling is just running with the landmine, running with Banelings. It's like running with the bulls, but so much cooler. I'm surprised he hasn't planted these down. There he goes. This could be big. Well, you guys don't get to see how many kills it got, but that whole army just died to one widow mine essentially. Hyun trying to play some gritty guerrilla tactics kind of play here. There's the run by I was talking about. Oh boy. Not the best hit, unfortunately. Does not get his wall up in time. These Widow Mines have not been the most effective. This could actually be pretty pretty crappy here. Good thing for Daishi, he's got a pretty good army, so he should be able to put some pressure on. Production is pretty good, so he'll end up losing a bunch of it as it spawns. But he should eventually be able to drive back this army. Hyun's just going to try to trade a little bit. This was going to be a planetary, but it's probably not going to get up in time. He keeps repairing it, it might. This other group, it looks like it wants to go after the base down here. I'm surprised that didn't hit one of those. The problem is those mutalisks will be able to do enough damage anyways. That base got essentially reduced to nothing. Looks like there's a lot of pretty big hits there from Hyun, but his supply is very low right now. Looks like this base will just barely not go down. One mule here repairing it. This gets cleaned up. This these guys burrowed and are just unburrowing. This is really brutal here at the moment now. Looks like he is going to gonna unburrow those and come back home to use them to defend. These guys got cleaned up. 
Let's look at the resources. Pretty even on the workers' kill count. Problem with Hyun is that he GG'd out. Now that is what death looks like. <laughs> How to be the most unhappy Zergling in the world. Really interesting game on that one. Hyun has got his hyper aggressive style, tries to throw everything he can at people. Great banling bombs. Daishi just played a gritty and dedicated Terran style and managed to pull out the win. Hope you guys like that. Should be back at you with some more pro StarCraft action real soon.